So how's everyone doing? Welcome to Throwback Thursday yet again and today what I'm covering is Hot In Here by Nelly. Now uh, listening to that, that song Hot In Here you might go where the hell is the guitar in this but Pharrell had a hand in writing it and a lot of the stuff is very guitar orientated even though it's played on keyboards. A lot of cool chords like this also used by Pharrell and the other dude in the Neptunes Chad uh, to do songs by No Doubt. many other things okay history lesson over uh the thing now is what we want to start off is with the intro and the way we do the intro is as follows you're going to see on the tab that it's the same shape used from the beginning and we're just sliding it down look okay so you'll notice our shape here we have the index finger on the 10th fret of the e string then 12 Okay, and I'm going to hit the top E string here, and I'm going to go one and two and three, four. Okay, I'll do that again. One and two and three, four. Now I repeat the same rhythm, but I'm starting at this point. I'm going one and two and three, four. I do that again, it goes. end with that quick little bit there that's seven eight nine you see written in the tab and it's very short it's kind of setting up what's to come all right so all together it goes one two three hot in so hot in hot in and as i hit the last one i've that one cut out all right so everything rings and you can either hit those three strings in one go like this, or if you work on it, you could go a sort of thrum, so it goes. Okay, so that is the intro. The next bit then we get is the verse, all right? And that's in two parts. We have this lower part that isn't as well known. It goes, um, But then all of a sudden one day I was playing it and something was missing so I figured out there is more to it. Right, so what we're doing is you're going to hit the open E string and your three shapes are as follows. You have the one and two and three and four and, okay I'll do that again, it goes one and two and three and four and. Now if you want a closer look it goes as follows, one and two and three and four and. Okay, the next one then. It's like your simple left chord, it goes one and two and three and four and. Having a listen to it, you're going to hear that like, it sounds pure weird, but that's what it is. It goes one and two and three and four and four and. Okay, so we do that three times. Then you're going to slide this shape up two frets. So we're based around a G triad now. Okay, so we go. Then, slide it down a fret and we get this. All right, now I'm not going to uh, I haven't practiced it. <laughs> so it goes one, two, three, and four. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Last one then. Now, if you look closer here, you're gonna see with my picking hand, uh, well, with my fretting, my opposite fretting hand, sorry, language not working today. I'm picking it with the pick and I'm pulling it with the fingers. Now, the thing about that is, it gives me more control. You could also go. All right, so that gives us our intro. Last one then goes. All right, now for the fun high part that most people are familiar with. 
Right, so you're going to begin by getting the finishing chord stab from the intro, the bit that goes. All right, so it's seven on the E, eight on the B, and nine on the G. Now, the rhythm of it is a bit to work on here. All right, you're going to see it all on the tab anyways, but I'll just count it down a bit to show you. So, take a listen. It goes two E and A. So if you subdivide it like that, two E and A, it's on the two E and A. Two E and A. And it's very, very short. It doesn't go, it goes one, one and two and, sorry, I count that again. It goes two E and A. All right, now, what happens in this, it goes one, two, three E and A, like that. Can I do that again? It goes one, two. That is tricky to count, but just to give you a bit of an idea. One, two, three E and A, four. One, two, three, and a four. Can you hear that sort of? Make sure you get the rhythm. Subdividing the count is really important. All right, that is the first bar. Then the second bar goes. That rhythm happens on the second beat. All right, so in the first bar, it happens on the third beat. So it goes one, two, bam, bam. In the second bar, it goes one, bam, bam. All right, so all together it goes. You do that three times. Then. Right, the last two chords then go as follows. We'll take a closer look. It is the two chords you had from the intro. So it goes one, two, one. Okay, so that's just counting the beats again. It's very cool. Okay, all together it goes like this. So it goes one, two, three, four. One. One more time. Then we move up. And that is all of Nelly Hot and Here. The bits, and since it's a rap song, a very common thing with rap songs is, it's that sometimes they drop out the music for specific lines, for specific verses. Um, sometimes this part might drop. Sometimes the other part might drop. Okay, I'll let you figure that one out. Um, Snoop Dogg, listen to, to him lately as well. I think that is it. Okay, so if anybody's any questions, drop comments below. Um, any requests for next week, let me know. Thanks for watching.